my name is Zoe and I'm the Business Director of Supply Chain Solutions at Ames. I want to show you a really exciting new prototype we've built called Sensei. And Sensei is an AI-based assistance which guides the users through their network design studies. Sensei will operate and help in a couple of elements. The first one is creating alerts for the user. So what is relevant in the world for that particular company, for their uh, specific use cases, keywords, preferences, all the news they want to hear. Then Sensei will determine what the impact of a certain alert is for you. So how will it impact your network? And third, it will suggest and automate the scenario creation for you. Let's watch the, watch the prototype together. So now you're looking at Sensei. And uh, Sensei is going to search for relevant alerts for this particular user. And we're looking at fictional data. So we've built a fictional company in the petrochemical industry. And for this fictional company, we set up a profile. So what is this company all about? What are their competitors? What are the keywords they are interested in to receive alerts on? And we have explained what their network's all about. So where are their suppliers? Where are the warehousing facilities? Where are the customers? What are their raw materials? What are their finished products? All this information is now provided to AI, the AI assistant. And um, Sensei will now scrape the world for relevant alerts for this particular company. As you can see on the screen, there are different alerts being loaded right now. And as a user, you can easily already see if there's a high, medium or low importance for a certain alert created for you. As a user, however, you do need to make the sense check if a certain alert is relevant for you. And as we know, AI still makes mistakes, is hallucinating. So as a user, you can always go to the original source of the alert and check if it's really relevant for your business. We have an example here of a uh, Korean business article and me as a Central European user, I don't normally check my Korean uh, newspaper. So this might be new information for me, which can be really relevant for my network. If it's relevant, then you can mark this as a user and you can already read what the impact can be on your networks. And it's all in human language. Now we're switching screens and you are looking at SE Navigator. SE Navigator is uh, the AIMS tool and uh, you have visualized the uh, network of this fictional company in our screen just now. Now we are looking at three bubbles. And these th three bubbles, these are the locations who are directly impacted by the alert we just found. The bubbles loading right now are all the locations which are indirectly impacted by the same alert. And as you can see, one alert from a business newspaper in Korea has a huge impact on our Central European networks. Now we're going back to Sensei, because as a user, we want to continue uh, learning what the impact is of this news article for our network. And as you can see, the AI assistant already suggested some of the changes you can make to your networks. And again, as a user, as a supply chain professional, you make the sense check if this is really a good suggestion or that some elements need to be changed. Then if you uh, hit the button, then AI and SE Navigator will work together again and the scenario will be created for you. It also allows you to compare the uh, suggested scenario with your original scenario. So in a couple of seconds, we are going to see two networks uh, next to each other. The one on the left side is the one AI suggested. The one on the right side is the original network. And at the first glance, you will see that the networks look pretty similar. And if we sc scroll down here, you can see that there's a teeny tiny uh, change made because there's one of the transport lanes which is uh, suggested to be removed by AI. And uh, that is the change in your network. So now let's see if there are any changes in your costs associated with this suggestion. And it is, and um, based on this suggestion, we actually saved a lot of money for this network and uh, got the cost down. Thank you so much. This is the prototype. Um, as I said, it's not a product just yet. We are now in the stage to look what we will make as a first release and uh, watch this space. Thank you.